The next thing I believe that was evident in the early church and that I believe is something that churches offer and that's unique to the church, it's the power of prayer. It is the power of prayer. The Bible says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship and the breaking of bread and prayers and prayers and prayers. In verse 43, I'll read it. It says, and awe, meaning a sense of wonder, amen, was upon them. All was upon them because God was doing signs and wonders in the midst. And the signs and wonders that God was doing is a result of the prayers of the people. Now, I, I don't know of any other community that offers the benefit of the power of prayer. And I want to say that in this church, we have a track record of answered prayers. We have a track record of God showing up in response to people crying out to him and saying, I heard you. Let me show you what I can do. Prayer is something every one of us need at some point in our lives. Uh, we used to go out on the street with prayer tables, and we used to ask people, we used to put up a sign that says, free prayer, and anyone would come walking down the street, and we would say, can we pray for you? Nine out of ten people will stop and say, sure. And nine of, not, most of them were not believers, had no religious background whatsoever, but somehow this, this, this idea that someone is offering to connect with God on your behalf just meant the world to people. And we have prayed for and ministered to hundreds of people on the streets and seen many of them come to faith in Jesus because of the power of prayer. This is something that we know that is real. And as a church, we are always going to be a praying church. I want to say that prayer is the engine that makes Generations Church go. We gather here for prayer on Saturday mornings, a, a lively bunch of people, about 15 or 20 of us, sometimes more, sometimes less, and we call out to God. Come on, we lift up the name of Jesus and we pray. And I'm telling you, it's not just something we're doing for our own good. God shows up and God answers prayer. And isn't it awesome to know that you are connected to a community that can get a prayer through to heaven? Because you see, you're going to face things in your life, a particular kinds of crises in your life that there is no answer for. You're going, to, you're going to find yourself in situations where the odds are so stacked against you that even experts in your field won't have an answer, won't know what to do. And it is a situation like that that we faced only a month or so ago when Elder Mark was in a hospital. Since Father's Day Sunday, I think, just about, that he ended up in a hospital. And he went from, 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 I'm about to come home in a couple of days to completely intubated and for three weeks we didn't know, but for God and but for faith, whether we'd see this man in the land of the living again. And all of you who've walked with us through that, you know, amen, what that has been like. But I'm going to let him share his testimony. We have a quick video of him. I want to let him share that testimony for those of you who may not be familiar about the power of answered prayer. Go ahead. I truly understand the power of prayer. My name is Mark McLean, and I have the distinct honor of serving as an elder here at Generations Church. You know, I was attacked by the devil by cancer in both of my lungs. And um, it really uh, took me down. I was on the ventilator for a number of weeks, and I was truly at death's door. But prayer changes things. Not only did I have the benefit of my family praying for me, but the leader of this church, Bishop Martin Pastor Surrey, have cultivated a culture of prayer. And Bishop, after visiting me, came back and asked the congregation to pray for a miracle. When the people of God started praying in this church, God stepped in and saved my life with a miracle. You know, I got off the ventilator, uh, the cancer was arrested, and uh, now I can breathe, I can move, I'm independent. I am truly healed because I belong to a church that knows the power of prayer. 
Hello back there. Amen. I could not have said that better. That was so powerful. I, I can tell you this. There was one day we were driving to the hospital. And uh, one of our doctors here in this church, who also works in the hospital, said to us, are you coming here? I said, we're on our way there. She said, well, you'd better hurry. Are you listening to me? But they had just had a conference concerning him. And it wasn't looking like there was any hope left. I felt that. I had that deep sense in my heart. Like, I said, God, I am not going to accept this. I went to the hospital with this feeling in my gut. I said, there is, I don't know what's to be done. I've heard all the, I know the conundrum that they're in such that they don't even know where they're going to go with this. But God, we can certainly pray. There are things that man, thank God for all their work, thank God for doctors and the miracles they do, but God, there are things that are beyond us that you yourself have to step in and show that you are God. And I remember one Sunday morning after this had gone on for another couple of weeks because they had to keep him intubated while they were trying to decide what can happen. I remember one Sunday morning I left here. I come to pray in the morning. I go home. And, and I was, I, was I, I just was not satisfied. My soul was so heavy. I got on my knees. I felt the Holy Spirit drove me to my knees. And I cried out to God. I mean, I got into the face of God in a way that I've never got into the face of God before with a desperation that I have never felt in my life for this man. And it was that very week that they took him off of the ventilator. All of our prayers. I'm reminded of a time in the Bible when Peter was in jail and the church prayed. And God sent an angel because Peter was tied up between two prisoners. So he wasn't going to go anywhere. Amen? But God showed up, knocked everybody out, touched Peter. The chains fell from him. He said, Peter, get up. Let's go. And he walked out of there a free man. Are y'all listening to me? That's the same God we cry out to. That's the same God we pray to. That's the God of your impossible. And it doesn't matter what age you are. If you go to God in your desperation and you cry out to him, God will answer because he loves to show himself mighty. We worship God and we celebrate God. Every time I look at this man, I, I shake my head and I say, God, you are amazing. You are truly amazing. The power of prayer.